next news. In California, California accuses Cisco of job discrimination based on Indian employees' castes. California regulators have filed a suit against Cisco Systems, Inc. Who, this is a major multinational technology conglomerate conglomerate in accusing the company of allowing an Indian American employee to be harassed by two managers on the basis of his caste. U.S. employment law does not specifically bar caste-based discrimination, but California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing contends in the lawsuit that the Hindu's faith, uh, Hindu faith's lingering caste system is based on protected classes such as religion. The lawsuit states that the victim had been a principal engineer at Cisco San Jose headquarters since October 2015, and that he was born at the bottom of the caste hierarchy as a Dalit, often called untouchables. Like the other large Silicon Valley employee, employers, Cisco's workforce includes thousands of Indian immigrants, most of whom were born as Brahmins or other high castes. The civil rights group Equality Labs, in a 2018 report cited in the lawsuit, uh, found that 67% of Dalits surveyed felt unfairly treated in their United States workplaces. Oh, so wow, this is, caste system is even net, creeping in the United States and like giant corporations. They have, this has how powerful this is. Tulsi Gabbard wasn't a, uh, an example for you. Like she is a Hindu nationalist from what I know of her. Gabbard. Which caste does she belong to? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, like her surname is Gabbard. I cannot. Yeah. Okay, but, but so by the way, for people who don't know, but before, before Shopham says Shopham is actually a Dalit himself. So this is these are his people. He's like the he's not just the lower caste. He's an outcast. Dalits are the untouchable, the outcast. We should have like a Dalit pride parade or something in India. That would be amazing. But anyways, I go mean, on. It, in the LGBTQ pride parade, we usually speak out for all minorities, including sex workers. No, Dalit, they're all everyone. separate. Dalit, just yeah. a Dalit pride <laughs> parade. In India. Yes, in India. But go on. Yes, yeah, Susanna wanted to ask something. Oh, so I just wanted to give a little bit per of perspective of this. So uh, this, let me be clear. This is not my area of expertise. This is not my community that I come from. So I could be completely wrong. Okay, but I have lived in the Bay Area for a number of years now, and I've heard from other people in my community who have firsthand experience with this, that the Indian American community in our region is so large that caste discrimination can continue to perpetuate even within America. So there was someone who I knew who was talking about how she wouldn't marry outside of her caste. And I'm like, bro you're in america like what are you talking about like what who even cares but the community is large enough that they can continue this behavior even yeah, to, in this country to be, be fair this, this caste system is a, is a shit of an idea anywhere on yes. the planet yeah yes yeah. no it, it don't um i'm not saying that it's okay there and it's not okay here I was just surprised as someone who's lived here my whole life and that's very outside of my culture. And this is, of course, coming from a place of ignorance, right? I'll admit that. I was surprised that it there was a community large enough to even allow for intercaste discrimination, right? Um, and again, this comes from me being ignorant and that not being my community. And um, I was shocked and horrified. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, why would you want to perpetuate that here? But Again, it was something I didn't understand. By the way, this is an example you need, everyone needs to take Hinduism as seriously as Islam because it can destroy uh, communities outside India and outside Hindu communities in general. I was quite surprised, like my cousin, elder brother lives in the US and he lives in an Indian community like most Indians living in the US, live in communities. And I was really shocked. Like, I, I, will, I was like, why would you live in a regressive community when you are going abroad? Like, that's why, I mean, I've decided like if, if I ever could get abroad, I'll like stay far away from these communities because they can 
keep this regressive values up for generations and i want to stay away from them but okay i mean what no i just want to be clear about something you said yeah yeah i mean we shouldn't just worry about shitty ideas from islam spreading around the planet we we should worry about like shitty ideas like from other religions like hinduism as well but let's just be clear when it comes to how barbaric and dangerous ideas are you know hinduism doesn't even get close to islam that doesn't mean we shouldn't be worried about them but let's just be fair about how how far you know how far behind islam and hinduism is when it comes to being a threat okay before before uh, saying one thing i want like to reply to michael sherlock on the live chat he was asking like he has read somewhere that modern western class system was influenced by the indian caste system and i don't know if this is true i mean indian civilization is one of the earliest four civilizations in the world so it could be possible but i'm not sure i cannot say something for sure but here's one thing like this case this is actually not <laughs> i mean i mean it is influenced by hinduism of course like you and no one can argue that but it's still not hinduism technically because and the dharma shastras which are like hindu scriptures one of the hindu scriptures there it says that if someone crosses the ocean the sea they will lose their caste so they should technically oh. not even have a caste so you're saying the caste system is definitely tied to hinduism obviously right but if you want to follow hinduism accurately once you once you're out of the india the caste system shouldn't apply as like well everybody is an outcast outside because because uh, they because that is like the arya bharta the land of the aryans and any like the land outside is just barbaric and uncivilized hey. Iran is the land of the Aryan, so whatever. You, uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, anyway, this I'm is. I want to say something though about this okay. too. So, Susanna, you were saying it's not just that they can keep the caste system enforced because of the strength and the size of their community. I also think it's figuring out how these religious liberties work in the United Certainly. States. Because if you noticed in the article, it said that one of the things. that this caste system can fall under with regard to uh Cisco's sort of defense or the defense of these people who are um treating this guy like this and um is that it's part of their religion their religion their deep deeply held beliefs their deep <laughs> their religion says that they need to do this you see what i mean and so we can't stop them from discriminating against people it's their religion because if we did that then that would be wrong because it's their culture to right. discriminate against people <laughs> that, that goes <laughs> like mean? that's one of that's actually very scary you know what this that is, is what i'm feeling very scary You know this is what Amer you know how Americans could push back like since every since around the world everybody thinks that not everybody a lot of people think Americans are white supremacists right the Amer Americans should go be like well this is now that you're all convinced that we're all white supremacists this is our deeply held beliefs and this is our culture so you motherfuckers better respect that <laughs> So I mean you want to say like their culture is to discriminate against each other well we can play the same freaking game <laughs> I don't know but um okay so do we really want to play that game No don't play that game I mean, guys that's, that's a game okay, that everybody that's thing, a like, game hold well, on let me finish let me clarify that's a game that everybody will come out losing um yeah. you know there's no winners of that game but go and shop him No I was saying like I know people from indian communities abroad like us uk and their families want them like they are living in a different country and completely different culture and everything but they want their kids to marry indians they don't want them to go outside the culture they want to have like the and that's because this is thing like because outsiders don't have caste but indians do and they and this is how they indirectly maintain the caste system for generations and generations and that's like 
really, Michael, really scary. Michael Sherlock is saying, is Rivka's deeply held beliefs a weekly thing? And can I get a t can I get this on a t-shirt? <laughs> oh my gosh. That'd be we funny. We should. We should. Um, okay, so wait, I just want to say point one thing that uh, just use this as an opportunity to people say, oh, Hinduism is not a religion, it's just a way of life. That's one, one of the most moronic comments that we constantly get on, on get this post like this because, yeah, religion is a way of life. So you saying Hinduism is a way of life doesn't make it not a religion. Um, and also, yes, it is a way of life. It's a very shitty, stupid, moronic way of life. But yeah, I agree. It's a way of life. Okay. Uh, do we want to move to news? Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 